it comes from God. I want you to hear a word that comes from God. And uh, in this word that comes from God out of the book of James, it, it, it's, it's, it's not a complicated word. It's a word preached, but I want to make sure that you understand the concept of because a lot of people are wrestling in their life. They're trying to get rid of certain things. And, and I want to make sure that you're able to get rid of those certain things. So, so in the book of James, the very first chapter, it says, uh, 13 verse, it, it, it begins, it, it, it talks about, uh, in the 12th verse, it says, Blessed is the man that endure temptation, but when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to them that loves him. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God, for God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempt he any man. You know, you know God is light. God is light in him that is no doubt. God cannot be tempted with evil. See, the word of God tells us whatever you sow, you shall reap. And God only so blessed. He only so blessed. So he reaps what he sows. God, everything God does is, is about blessing us. Everything he goes through, he, he's a blessing. He's the, the way to life and the truth. And so he sows a blessing, so he reaps a blessing. So therefore, he cannot be tempted with evil. Amen. Because the, the, the Bible says, look at what it says. Uh, uh, Let no man say when he is tempted, he is tempted of God. For God cannot be tempted with evil. Amen. He can't be tempted with evil because there's no evil in him. He's not sown in evil. Amen. A lot of times we, we sow fresh water and salt water. We, we, we're, we're blessed with one hand and cursed with the other. But God only blesses us. He doesn't curse us. Amen. Jesus said, I come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. He, he's the one that brings in the blessing. He's not the one that brings in the curse. He is the way, the life, and the truth. And, and, and we need to really grasp that. We need to really get off into that and understand that God is light. And in him, there's no doubt that there's no impurities in him. Everything about him is pure. Everything about him is clean. huh? And so we, we, we got to realize that these things about God as we go on. I wanna, but, but this is what I want to get to with this. But, let, but every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust. And entice. Now, now we read that scripture all the time, but we, we got to really understand what God is saying. And, and, and this is how you can easily understand it. I know some lay people out there that want to, there's some, some researchers out there that are trying to grab a hold of stuff. This is what he said. He said, then when lust conceives, when lust conceives, see, when lust is impregnated, when that desire is impregnated, it bringeth forth sin. And sin, when it, see, when it brings forth sin, it bring, it, after the impregnation, it brings forth sin. And y'all follow me on this, because it's going to get good in a minute. Mm. It's going to get good in a minute. He said, uh, and bringeth forth sin, and sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. Now, remember that word finish. I want, I want to talk with you about that word finish. It said, now, now, isn't this kind of strange? He said, do not hear my beloved brother. Now, he went somewhere, you think. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh, cometh down from the Father of light, with whom is no variantness. Neither shadow of turning. In other words, there's no inconsistency in God. And, and he's not going to turn away from you. When he bless you, you're blessed. And when you're cursed, you're cursed. But God only wants to bless you. There ain't no shadow of turning with God. He, he, he's a blessing. Look at, look at what it says. Of his own will. Be, oh, here, 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 here's the key. Here's the key to that scripture up there. Now, I'm going to go back up here to it for a minute. I don't want to lose on it. It said, in 15, it said, then when lust, wait, wait, wait a minute, 14, it said, every man is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. How is he drawn away? He's drawn away of his own lust 
and enticed. In other words, he's drawn away of his own desire. Man has that desire. Then when lust has conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin, when it finishes, bringeth forth death. Do not eat, my beloved brethren. Those of y'all with knowledge, you better catch this. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and come down from the Father of light, with whom is no verbalness, neither shadow of turning. Right here. It's a of his own will, of whose own will, of God's own will, begot he us, huh, with the word of truth, that he should be, that, that we should be a kind of first fruit of his creature. Now, let, let, let me get into this, because a lot of y'all wrestle with this lust, and you're trying to understand this lust, and you're trying to understand how you're drawn away. These some people, they, they're into this, they want to know how they're drawn away. Now, the Bible says that when a man is drawn away, he's drawn away of his own lust. Now, what are you saying? Well, I want, I want to tell you uh, uh, in the book of Genesis, uh, those of y'all that know the Bible, I, I won't just turn to every page, but those of y'all that know the Bible know that when when Adam and Eve was in the Garden of Eve, that God had told Adam not to eat of the fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and of bad, but every other tree he could eat of. Uh, especially the tree of life. So, so uh, these two trees being in the midst of the God, uh, when when Eve was caught off by herself, the devil, the devil, drew her, drew her, drew her, drew her. See, see, the Bible says, look, look at what he, look at what what he says right here in in uh, verses eighteen of, of James one. It's a, of his own, of his own will, but got he us with the word of truth. Now the devil drew her with the word of a lie. Oh, y'all don't want to come on now. We got to get into this. It, so so when you when when you are drawn away, look what he said. He said the devil the devil drew her. In other words, he drew her her desire. He drew her, huh? He he, he drew her. With the lie. God draws with the truth. The devil draws with a lie. Now when he drew her. In other words. He brought her in. Now remember this very one fact. Eve. Is the mother of all living. So in order for him to put something into, into existence. He's got to go through the mother of living. This is how it's got to come through. Now, so when 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 he draw her in, the lie get intimate with Eve, and when the lie get intimate with Eve, look, look, look at what the, look at what James first chapter eighteen verse said. Of his own will begot he us with the word of God that we should be a kind of fresh fruit. Now, now when when a lie drew Eve in. Uh, and when 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 she conceived, when she conceived, because when when she when you when you look at a woman that looks at her, you you you've already committed adultery. So when Eve began to 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 desire that tree of knowledge from behind my lie, she she was impregnated, and she was impregnated with that lie, and it brought forth sin. It left her naked in shame. Because the child that was birthed, that was birthed, it was sin birthed into the world. And 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 when sin had finished the Bible said, when he had finished up everything, he brought forth the devil. Now look, look, look at this right right here, Rick Kepler. Now now we we you, you got to you got to use the open mind to understand this because this is spiritual. And and, and if some of y'all like that wrestling with that that, that spirit of lust. You need to understand what you wrestle with and how it's deceiving you. Now, that lust is a desire. You, 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 it's something, whatever you desire, it could be money, it could be the opposite sex. Some cases it could be even the same sex. It's just a desire. And the Bible said the spirit in us lusts to sin. In other words, 
when 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 it, when it happened in the Garden of Eden, when that sin was it when she was impregnated by sin, the Bible said, first come lust and then come for sin. She in in, in, in verses uh, in verses of uh, uh, fifteen of, of James the first chapter it said, then when lust has conceived, in other words, her desire had conceived. She had been pregnant through her desire, and she had been shown this tree of knowledge of good and bad. She had been lied to, and 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 and, and her, now you can't build a house on a lie. You can't build a house on sand. You can't build a house on that what appears to be. It is temporary. It is not eternal. So when 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 all that she was seeing out of her eyes was temporary. It was not eternal. That the God doesn't look. On the outward, out of a man, he looks on the inside. What an eternity! There. When he looks at you, he looks at Christ in you. If you've been born again, he's looking at the inside. Many people around you are looking at the outside, but God looks on the inward man, the inner man. He searched the heart and the rain. He's looking when he when, when David was anointed. God looked at God. God, the Bible said that God does not see as man sees. Man look at the outward appearance. God look at the inside. So what had happened with Eve when that 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 desire that that was built up? You know how you how, how you uh, start playing with a person ear low, around the neck and stuff, and they get a desire. And that is there, but he done played with her, and she done got a desire, and she desire all of these fancy things that he promising her, he telling her about. So now that he got this desire going on, he's become intimate with her. But what has come intimate with her is a lie. And, and that lie brought forth a kind of first fruit. Uh, and, and the first fruit that it brought forth was sin. You understand what I'm saying? And sin habit being on a mission. So the spirit in us lusts to sin. See what I'm saying? So it, it, it's desire to sin. It brought forth that, that sin. It, it desire. Uh, uh, people tell you a lie. You believe a lie quick. You know what I mean? People are turned to sin quick. But 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 the God, they got to wrestle with a person, an alcoholic, or be an alcoholic, know he's a drunk, know he's having problems, know he's going through things, but he won't just confess straight out. He's an alcoholic because of that 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 nature that, that lie nature, and so the Bible said in in, in James the first chapter the eighteenth verse the Bible said God drew us now He drew us He drew on that that desire but He drew us where He don't tip us with evil He drew us with the word of truth Hello somebody so it was not evil He said I know my thoughts uh, towards you is is peace. And not even so, my, 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 my thinking, God thinking towards you is to draw you, is to draw you so, so you can be impregnated with the word of truth so that when you, when you bring forth a child, it can be a tight first creature, it can be a first fruit, it can be a Christ. See, what happened, what happened with, with, with Mary was just the opposite of what happened with Eve. Uh, she was, she was spoken, the word of truth was spoken to her by the angel that was sent from God. And when she desired that, she, 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 God knew her desire. She had stayed pure. She had stayed holy. So she had a desire. And when he, when he came to her and told her that she was going to be impregnated with this child, amen, she desired that she received that. At that time, she, that word, that faith was in word of God. And that word of God was Jesus. She was to be impregnated. And this child was to have a name, and the child's name was to be Jesus, which is the word of God, which is true. So once she got impregnated with this word of God, she brought forth a child. Now this child was just like a uh, sin was brought into the world. This child wasn't brought in. See, see, he didn't bring what she brought in through Adam, and Mary didn't bring in what she brought in through Joseph. Uh, uh, uh. He brought in what she brought in through the devil, and and Mary brought in what she brought in through the Holy Ghost. Hello, somebody. Now, 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 just like uh, just like seeing your your, your desire uh, draw you draw you away, the Word of God uh, draw you to Him. 
Hello, somebody. So when you were drawn in, they said, I was glad when, I, when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. So when, when we are drawn away, let, 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 let me, can, I, can I just, I'm, I'm, I'm going to jump somewhere on you real quick. And, and you got you to gotta keep up with me now. Because when, 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 when Jesus, in the book of Luke, the seventh chapter, when Jesus went into the Pharisees' house, Simon's house, he was in Simon's house, and there was a woman with an alabaster box of ornament that was standing behind him, and she was crying, she was crying, and she come around and began to wash his feet with her tears. You know, one of, one of the things in the Garden of Eve was when, when, when sin brought forth, when it was finished, it brought forth death. So when God began to tell uh, Adam and Eve, and, and he began to tell them, about what was going to transpire and what it transpired and the death that it transpired and it brought forth death. And therefore, they feared God. They hid from the truth. They didn't want to tell the truth. They didn't want to confess, forsake, and prosper. They wanted to stay hid. Hello, somebody. And, 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 and when this happened, amen, when this happened, and, and they, hide, they hide from God now. Understand, they hide from God. They hide from the truth. But now the truth done brought forth a child. Hello, somebody. Amen. It, it, now the truth done brought forth a child. This child, hello, somebody. I, I, I want to make sure that we stay on line with this. I want to make sure. This woman with this alabaster box washed the feet of Jesus because the devil was to bruise our feet. So in order for Jesus to begin a, a mission, he had to have his feet washed. He had to have his feet washed because if your feet been bruised, your feet got to be washed up. That's why he told the disciples when he washed their feet that they have no part with him if he didn't wash their feet. That's what he told Simon, hello, somebody, that if, you, if I don't wash your feet, you don't have any part with me simply because his feet had been washed with the tears of this woman and, 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 and dried with her hair. Now, remember that a woman's hair is a covering. So she, she's, when she dry his feet with her hair, she's saying, she, I'm coming under your authority. I'm coming under your cupboard. I'm coming from under the shadow of death into uh, under the, to the shadow of life. I'm not here under the tree of death. I'm submitting myself to God, Christ, man, woman. I'm, I'm, I'm coming from under the other order where I can do my own thing and I can be used in any kind of way. I'm submitting myself. I'm humming myself. And the only way she was able to humble herself is she was crying tears. She was crying tears and she was kissing his feet. The Bible says she, we were drawn through loving kindness. This woman had a, had a, had a zeal a love for God. The Bible says he that cometh unto him must believe that he is and a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So when, when this woman came, she was washing, listen to this enough, she was washing his feet with her tears. What do you mean? He said in the book of Psalms 51, he said, a sacrifice and offer will I not have. All that stuff y'all trying to give me, I would not have. He said a broken spirit. See, you can't ride a wild horse until the spirit is broken. You can't get nowhere with an animal or anything else until the spirit is broken. You trying to just some of y'all trying to deal with men out there trying to deal with women out there. Their spirit is not broken. So so this woman, when she began to cry, she had not ceased to cry and to wash his feet with her tears. The spirit was broken. She had a broken spirit and she had a contrived heart. And that's what that's what God was looking for. He did not find that in Simon. He did not find that in the Pharisees' house. He did not find that anywhere. He found that in this woman. That's why in the Bible, in the Bible said, see, we preach about a lot of things in the church. But to you preach it like that, God said, whatever the gospel is preached, if this woman is to be mentioned, because when this woman is washing his feet, with her, with, her, with her tears and drying them with her hair, she anointed his feet with oil. She anointed his feet for his burial. That was the when Jesus said on the cross, in his finished, it, it, his feet was anointed by this woman. You, you can't preach crucified, dead, and buried, but not first washing the feet. It, 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 her, uh, his feet had to be washed. It had to be washed. And it had to be dry. And his feet had to be anointed. He told Simon, he said, I came in your house. You, you, you did not give me a kiss, but this woman has not ceased to kiss my feet. 
In other words, she she kissing it. She she in love with you. You kiss me up out the head, show me some love, but you kissing my feet. That there's a deeper love. That's a that uh, who who gonna love the most. There's, a, there's, a, there's an extreme love here. There's a passionate love here. Lord, I love you. I understand it for, because of my sin. The world not perceiving you because of my sin. They, they want to crucify you because of my You come to pay for my sin. And I, I, I want to thank you in advance. I want to praise you in advance. And she began to cry out. She began to cry. Her tears were running out of faith. And the tears washed his feet. Washed his feet. Washed the feet of mankind. Her tears washed the feet of mankind, and as she washed his feet, it was dry, dry with a with a hair. Hello, somebody, amen. And the hair is the covering. Remember that. And so when she dried it, she anointed his feet with oil, but she anointed him for the burial so that he would be able to go to the cross. And on his way to the cross, he stopped by and washed the disciples' feet. And he told them, he said, "If I don't wash your feet," You don't have any part with me. So it's very important that you understand all of this. Now, uh, now I'm speaking to you out of the book of James, James, the very first chapter, because it's all about how the devil is getting you in situations to do what you don't want to do. The, the flesh is weak. The spirit is willing. And, and, and you have to have your feet washed and shunned in the gospel of Jesus Christ. You have to have a broken spirit and a contrived heart. You have to come down off the high high horse, and humble yourself before the mighty hand of God. If, 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 when you're praying for some people, they're so hyped up, you got to either tell them to relax, to, to give it over, because they, they, they're just, you, you know, because they, they're just used to struggling. See, one thing about the book of Luke in the seventh chapter where this woman, uh, 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 and, and you read that chapter, you'll find out that the chapter start off talking about the centurion, and he was talking about the order and the amount of faith that he had. He said, I've not found this kind of faith in, 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 in all Israel. And what he, what he was saying is this man understands the order. There's an order. There's God. There's Christ. There's man. There's woman. He understands the order and things in God how to done decent and in order, and when it's done in God's house, that's where you sow the seed. It'll be done like that in your house. You'll have some kind of peace in your house, and not just in your home that you stay in, but in your body, in your vessel, which is your house, which is the house of God. You, you, you have peace within yourself. You will have peace because the Bible said in the book of Proverbs 8, chapter, he said, I am understanding. I have strength. You can understand what how you're drawn away, how in, in the book, the, the woman, which is the mother of all living, was implemented. She was put, there was something placed in her. She was impregnated. She was deceived. When she was deceived, that deception becomes sin. And that deception is no, no different than adultery, no different than laying up because she was impregnated. And the Bible said when, when lust ha has conceived, it bringeth forth sin. And when that lust of hers had, 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 had been consumed or uh, uh, laid up with that lie or uh, received that lie, it brought forth sin. It, it, a lie, you can't build a house on, on, on a lie. You can't build a house on sand. You got to build it on a solid rock. The truth of God, it has to be. And so the same method that she was drawn up, uh, she was played on, God come back in the fullness of time. I, uh, Adam, second Adam coming off in there, and being redeemed, hello somebody, amen, bringing forth a first, a tight first fruit, hello somebody, God drew her with the truth, when he, when the angel began to speak truth, Mary was very attentive, she wanted this, uh, she wanted to be the woman that brought forth, she wanted this redemption in her life, she wanted it, she loved Joseph, but she knew she wanted to do the will of God, she had been prepped for it all her life, she had been commissioned to come in here to bring forth this child. So she received the truth. And when she received the truth, the truth made her free. And it brought forth a son. And that son was a first fruit. It brought forth a, a type first fruit. It brought forth the spirit of that first fruit. And, the, and as the body was formed within her, before she was formed, before he was formed in his mother's womb, that truth had already been inputted in there. And that truth impregnated her to bring forth, oh, praise God, you just can't get through this 
with it. Well, I just want to throw something out there for some of you researchers, some of you guys that are searching for truth that want to be made free from sin, want to be that people don't understand how you caught off in this. Some of you husbands, how you stepping around the corner, some of you wives, how you going down, and some of you. Christians, how you supposed to be over here faithful in this ministry and capable? I'm talking about how you can't be whole. How you not whole? I'm talking about the first fruit. I'm talking about the spirit fruit. I'm talking about receiving this in the spirit realm. The word that I speak unto you, according to John six and sixty three, the word that I speak, the flesh prophet nothing. The word that I speak unto you, their spirit and their life. That's what it does say the Lord. So man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. God is doing something in this season. This is your season. This is your season to be blessed. Some of y'all that are receiving this word today, that's nonstop. You, you're just climbing higher and higher. There is no ceiling to how high you're going. God has been to do some tremendous things in your life. God wanted you to hear all of this today. He wanted you to receive all of this. This is amazing for you. It may not be laid out. I might not have went for book, chapter, verse, all of that. But those of y'all that know the words, you don't have to do all that. Jesus didn't stop and start going through, well, in the book of John, in the book of all that old crazy mess. He knew the word. The word was alive inside of him. See, I testify Jesus Christ come within the flesh. The word is alive inside of me. Hello, somebody. And all I'm doing, see, you can't give nobody nothing you ain't got. I don't. I, I, I just look like this. See, you looking at the vessel. You looking at, I, I heard a, 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 a prophet hall, Todd Hall said, uh, uh, when you pour, when your glass of water is pouring, the water is not pouring for the glass, it's pouring for you. When God anoints somebody, he's not anointing them for them, he's anointing them for you. You worry about how the glass is, you better drink that water if you're thirsty. You better, that water going to take care of you. You better receive the word of truth. The word of truth will make you free. Now, some of y'all rational with things. You need to get into this Bible. You need to get into it and do uh, 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 some prayer some fasting, some singing God. And you need to get up on the ministry where they testify Jesus Christ come within the flesh, that they have this knowledge coming from God, that they have a word coming from God for your thirsty soul, for your hungry soul, so that you can be filled. Feed me till I want no more. I'm talking about the word of God. Now, I don't know what everybody, you, you know, I ain't going to come in on nobody, but you better try to look out for you. And, and God want to anoint you so you can carry that truth to somebody else. God want you, God want you to bring forth. We're to bring forth fruit unto God. And the only way we can bring forth fruit unto God, see, when our feet are washed and shone in the gospel of Jesus Christ. In other words, praise be to God. This woman washed his feet with a with a with a tear. She wiped it with her hair. She anointed his his feet with oil. And and, and he said, to whom much is given, much is required. This woman, this woman loved God. She loved God. She knew the depths of her sin. Stop lying to yourself. Come to yourself. This woman was just like the product of son. She was, had come to herself. She knew what she had done. She had accepted what she had done. Alcoholic, confess you an alcoholic. Sinner, confess you a sinner. Come to Jesus just like y'all. If you confess out of your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, the Bible said, I shall be saved. Whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I want to pray with you. I'm going to just take time and pray with you. Pray this prayer with me. Say, Father, in the mighty and the holy name of your son, Jesus, I come before you just like I am, Lord. And I, I come and confess that I am a sinner. And I ask you, merciful God, to have mercy upon me and sinner. I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that he was crucified, crucified, dead and buried for the forgiveness of my sin. And on the third day, God raised him. I believe in my heart that God raised him from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sat on the right hand side of God the Father. And from this, he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. Father, in the name of Jesus, come into my heart, come into my life, come into my home, Lord. Save me, Lord. I know by praying this prayer, I know by humbling myself now, I know by giving my life over to you. They're going to talk about me. They talked about you. But even so, Lord Jesus, come. In the name of Jesus, you just prayed that prayer. Believe it in your heart. I know God is doing a work in your life. You press on. You find yourself a Holy Ghost fear church. You seek God with all your heart, all your mind, 
all your soul, you turn away from your evil and wicked way. Don't get mad with yourself in a struggle. Don't get mad. Stop beating yourself up. Believe by faith that God has touched you and going to keep on touching you because there's no variance of turning. God is doing some mighty thing for you and he's going to do it in a high, irrespective, in regards of who talk about you, put you down, knock you down, throw you out. God is going to do some things in your life. Can I get an amen?